Hey now, it's your boy the Black Phantom HD. And man, I always have to move this thing. Because it's always, always doing this to me. But anyway, it's your boy the Black Phantom HD. Sorry about the glare. Um, back at it again with another comic book haul. Uh, I went to my local Supercon. It was not just a Comic Con, but it was a Supercon. So they didn't have as many vendors so probably won't have as much books today it's actually only five books today but hey I guess I get to talk for a longer time uh, right now we have the Sandman number one 1976 written and drawn by Jack Kirby in a nice 8.5 copy uh, if it wasn't for the writing there I would probably say 9.0 but this is a really beautiful copy as you can see really really beautiful copy I even think it would benefit from a press uh, Sandman is uh, Sandman is one of those uh, type of new gods I'm guessing in his fourth world because he does dress like a new god or somebody from Dark Side's Planet I haven't read it yet because I just got it but I know I read Forever People uh, New Gods and all the other fourth world stuff like Mr. Miracle and all that. But I haven't read Sandman. So I'm guessing he's a part of the fourth world. But yeah, it's a nice high grade copy. He's written and drawn by Jack Kirby. What can you go wrong with Sandman number one? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Number 18. Kara Danvers gets her powers. This is another high, high grade copy. Um, yeah, nothing to say about it. Kara Danvers is getting her movie. It took Wonder Woman to come out just for Marvel to make a Captain Marvel movie, but or oh, Miss Marvel. I hate. I'll always call her Miss Marvel to be honest. Before Marvel made a Miss Marvel movie, it took Wonder Woman to make it. But um, yeah, this is another nice high grade copy. To be honest, this one can benefit from a press. This is a straight 8.0. That can benefit from a press. But yeah. Um, how did y'all like the Spider-Man Homecoming movie? I, I did. Um, I didn't like it as much as Tobey Maguire movies. But you know, we all see the those comments in the, every single movie. Uh, the MCU fans, you know, like the diehard people who like no movies, but the movies inside the MCU. Uh, those are the people will say, um, that, um, Tom Holland's movies are better than all the McGuire movies, which is not, I mean, from pure critical and, uh, storytelling point of view, uh, told me McGuire. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movies are the best, and the best there uh, will ever be. Spider-Man movies wise, they won't be the, they won't be better than The Dark Knight, because The Dark Knight is like the high pinnacle point of every superhero movie. But yeah, um, what we have here is Amazing Spider-Man 361, first appearance of Carnage. This is actually my second copy. As a matter of fact, let me move this. Because I actually have this thing standing on my box right here. So yeah, second copy of First Appearance of Carnage. Got this one at a discount price of only around $8, of course. $8, yeah, it was $8. Oh yeah, I actually meant to take a book out of here. But yeah, I got it for eight dollars. And yeah, this book is getting really hot, hotter by the minute, with all the um, carnage stuff happening in the movies. Uh, since he's supposed to be in the Venom movie, this book has been getting really hot. Which I don't know why people have been boycotting Sony 
saying that movies are terrible, but in terms of comics, they're just, the price is just going up for some reason. I'm wondering why, like, for real. Uh, comics, man, you don't, you don't know when something's going to get hot. I mean, this book has already been expensive. They've been going for like $50 and so, but when the movie was announced, it jumped all the way up to $90, $100 and whatnot. So, I'm glad to have found my second copy. I'm probably just going to sell this one for something like uh, Captain America 100, because I know I can get one for $100 or so. But yeah, First Appearance of Carnage, a nice high-grade copy. Well, except this. Uh, these, this little tick mark, I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. I'm pretty sure that's a manufacturer error, though. At least for most copies of Carnage I've seen, they've seen they have that same tick on there. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, one nine four first appearance of Black Cat. I already have a graded one, so this is my second copy. My graded one is actually signed by Marv Wolfman and the CGC Signature Series. So this was a really good book to have. Black Cat is one of my favorite characters in all of the comics. Um, I like her as much as I like Catwoman, which I know most people don't because she's a ripoff of Catwoman, but I think she's a really good character, possibly sometimes even better than Catwoman in her own ways. Um, but I do not like what Marvel has been doing with her now. Uh, no pun intended because it's called Marvel now, but... She's a full-on villain now, instead of much like a, a hero slash anti-hero. But she's just a full-on villain just because Spider-Man put her in prison or something. Uh, and she won't understand the fact... She's the only one who doesn't understand that Dr. Octopus was swapping minds with Peter. And they just made her a full-on villain. One of the reasons why I hate Dan Slott's run. The only thing I liked about Dan Slott's run was uh, Silk's debut. Because Silk is now one of my favorite Marvel characters. Um, but yeah, I don't like the newer stuff they've been doing with Black Cat lately. So, yeah. First appearance of Black Cat. On to some graded books, the last two books. Um, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. 134, first cameo, appearance of Dark Side, and a nice... 5.0. This is one of the nicer looking 5.0s I've probably seen. Uh, let me just try to back this up a little bit. Oh, that's not going to work. I'll push it up. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can zoom it out. Oh, that's zooming in. Yeah, it's not going to work. But, um, first cameo appearance of Dark Side, I had one, but it was in way too low, to, low of a grade. And you got to watch out for these people on Facebook and eBay who do trades with you. They'll say it's like in Vita, Fine, and stuff. But it looked pretty nice when I got it. But um, both of the staples were detached, and I didn't even notice it. Because I was flipping through the book so fast that the cover didn't come a loose, I guess, I'm guessing. So, but the staples looked like they were attached when I got it, but they weren't attached. So, he said it was very fine. That probably moved it down to all the way to a, like a 3.0. So, I had to trade it for something else. And I was really disappointed. I hated not having one. So, I got this nice 5.0 copy. Um, I actually have another copy of this coming in the mail soon. But it's a 4.0. Uh, you better really get ready and buy this book right now. Buy this book. Uh, with the, we're getting closer and closer to the Justice League movie. And we all know what happened to Iron Man 55 when Avengers 1 came out. That book just shot up in price from probably like a $100 book to a $500 book. So, yeah, get this book. You already know Steppenwolf is going to be the main villain in the Justice League movie. So you already know what the cameo is going to be. You already know Parademons, Steppenwolf, Parademons, Steppenwolf, and 
you know. Oh, I can go past 10 minutes. I didn't even know that. But Parademons, Steppenwolf, and such and such. You, The clues are adding together. You already know it's going to be Dark Side. It's going to be good Dark Side. There's nothing else that can be but Dark Side. Unless they add Granny Goodness as the main villain, which I highly doubt they'll do. Because that would just mean bad reviews. But yeah, get this book. It's going to be worth possibly $500 in the next few months. And on to the final book of the day, of the haul, is Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Uh, not in that bit of shape, 2.5, off white, white, but it really presents well for a uh, 2.5. I'm pretty sure you can see it, it really does present well for a 2.5. I'm pretty sure what the staples are attached and everything. I'm pretty sure what brought it down was these small water stains in the back. But I'm happy with it. I got it for I got it for two hundred dollars. So that was probably my one of my last big um, purchases of the year until the next Comic Con is in November. So, I was hoping to get a Captain America 100 or a Green Lantern 87, but I just stumbled upon this. And, you know, this book is only going to get higher when the when they release the teaser trailer for The Punisher or Daredevil Season 3 or whoever knows what. And this book will even skyrocket higher than it is before, than it is now. I'm probably going to sell this one, double my money, and then get a a higher grade copy. But, yeah, I really like having this book. I really love this cover. This is like a classic genre, John Romita cover. I just love this cover. John Romita is one of my favorite artists, other than um, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, and um, Jack Kirby. But, yeah. And Steve Ditko, of course, the original Spider-Man uh, artist. But, yeah. Uh, that's going to be my haul for today, guys. Um, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. This has been your boy, The Black Phantom. Peace.